before this video starts, make sure you guys subscribe, because roughly 70% of you guys aren't who are watching my videos. And if you want to buy some merch, the link is in the description. Yo, what's up guys? It's Nick from Begins Gaming, and welcome back to another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. It's today. We have more custom cards, another one of these types of videos, but today we have the program, I'm just going to call it program, or I'm just going to call it the extreme program, because it's multiple things into one this year. So, for the extreme program, comes out tomorrow, if you're watching this, the day comes out on Thursday, September 17th, 2020, if you're watching any other day, then it's already out, probably. Uh, but yeah, so I made a couple custom cards and I made some predictions. So the extreme program, it's just missions from various different modes in the game that are specifically difficult to complete. So yeah, that's why it's called extreme. Last year we had moments extreme and those gave you some great rewards and then in MLB 18, we had a thing called, Con or we had Conquest Extreme and Conquest Destiny, but that was kind of different. That was different. But yeah, they're just really hard missions that you have to do, and you get exclusive rewards. So, yeah. So, here's Conquest. Uh, I think that there's going to be some Conquest involved. I think... Sort of like Conquest Extreme from MLB 18. Uh, basically what MLB 18's Conquest Extreme was, it was conquer teams in a certain number of turns. There was also one mission where you had to conquer every single stronghold in a, in a certain number of turns. I don't remember what it was, but yeah, you have to conquer all of them in like a maximum amount of turns. So yeah, it's pretty hard, uh, but it's definitely going to be worth it because the rewards are great. Um, yeah, you also get a bunch of stubs. It's like conquer a team in like one turn or less or two or whatever. It's just those types of missions and then probably like one big one. So I think that conquest will be involved. Next we have showdown. This is actually confirmed because it's it's on the uh, the homepage. It says showdown included. So it's gonna be showdown extreme. So you're gonna have to play showdowns that are gonna be very hard, which is gonna be fantastic. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna be showdown, but a lot harder. So you can, you're gonna have to do that. And then the last one I think is gonna be is just moments. It's pretty. This is pretty similar to uh, showdown, cause showdown is just moments bunched into like a certain game mode. I don't know if they'll do moments just because they're showdown extreme, but I just threw it up there just cause. Uh, so yeah. That's what I think is gonna be in the program. Here are the rewards. I'm sh putting, I'm making the structure pretty similar or like exactly the same as uh, what's it called? The All Timers program. There was a there were featured cards at 25, 50, 75, and 100 points. So that's what I think it's gonna be. Three 99s because they said multiple 99s. They could do two, could do three. I don't know, but I think at this point in the game it should be three, especially because it's extreme and it's pretty hard. Uh, I could definitely see if it's four cards and it's like this. Definitely two hitters and two pitchers, one of them being a reliever probably. Uh, so these are the cards that I picked. Prime Sean Green. I know what you're about to comment. Sean Green, you don't have his rights. Well. The same people who said that with that reasoning for Dante Bichette and Benito Santiago before they had those moments in Team Affinity and uh, the Father's Day program. People said that before they ended up being in the game. So I'm going off of that. Sean Green, Prime, 97 overall. I'm, I have him as 25 points. He's going to be a solid lefty bat. He's going to be free. Good stats versus both sides. Better against righties though, but still a good card. 50 points, 99 MVP Dennis Eckersley. I don't know why they refuse to give pitchers MVP cards. Uh, these are two guys who don't have their endgame cards yet and who have won MVPs as pitchers. And they aren't like super old. They're more they're more recent. So 
Yeah, I don't know why, like, the Clayton Kershaw card, they didn't give it MVP. Raleigh Fingers, they didn't give him an MVP. Uh, but, yeah. So, 50 points got Dennis Eckersley. He's going to be slider, four-seam, sinker, curveball, I think. Which is a pretty good repertoire for a reliever. Uh, he has a funky motion. We all know Dennis Eckersley. He's great. He was really good last year. One of the greatest closers of all time. That year, 92, he was so dominant. If they make a card off of 1992, it, it should be a 99. Uh, for 75 points, I have 99 overall. MVP, Justin Verlander from 2011. He's going to have four seam slider, curveball changeup, and I think a cutter too. I think that's his last pitch. Or I don't know if that's the order, but I think those were his pitches last year on his signature card. Uh, but this is uh, this is based off his MVP year, so this should be better than the signature series card from last year. Uh, starter, starting pitcher, 99, completely free to get. And then at 100 points, I'm going to go with Albert Pujols. And the reason why I'm going to go with Albert Pujols is because Albert Pujols last year was an inning boss. So I don't think he's going to be an inning boss this year, obviously. I don't think he's going to be that easy to obtain. And that's definitely going to be a card that's... It's going to be worth doing to get 99 Albert Pujols. Doing all the extreme moments is going to be worth it. Uh, because you're getting Albert Pujols, which is one of the greatest hitters of all time. So yeah, I'm picking Albert Pujols. Uh, it could be some other guys. could be Griffey. could be Willie Mays. Uh, could be Honus Wagner. could be, I don't know, it could be a bunch of guys. So yeah. I know it's a first baseman at 100 points, but the thing is, he's not just a first baseman. He has third. He's going to have third. He's going to have left. He's going to have right. He might even have center. Uh, so, yeah, that's really why I chose Albert Pujols as my prediction, along with all these other guys. So, yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I know these videos are always short, but I like making them. You guys love the custom cards. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm your host, Nick from Big Ends Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know why that just came up. See you guys in the next one. Peace.